blazing a new American path to space. This time tomorrow, two astronauts will be hurtling through our atmosphere in the SpaceX Dragon capsule on their way to the International Space Station. This is the first time a private American company will carry astronauts into space and the first time we will launch a manned craft from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. This is a unique moment where all of America can take a, a moment and look at our country do something stunning again. And that is launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Today was the final rehearsal before liftoff tomorrow. The astronauts rode in Teslas to the launch pad in Florida. Now, if they have to cancel tomorrow's launch for any reason, SpaceX has scheduled two backup times for this weekend. You'll still be able to stream it on KHOU.com and the KHOU 11 News mobile app. Now, for this mission to get the go-ahead, everything needs to go as planned. Chris Costa shows us what happens when Mission Control says liftoff. Getting the go on launch day basically involves a giant checklist. Is the weather just right? Are the spacesuits and spacecraft performing properly? If all the answers are yes, then it's time for liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one. When Falcon 9 and the crew inside Dragon spacecraft lift off, they'll speed up to 17,000 miles per hour to break through the atmosphere and into orbit. Then the Falcon 9's first stage separates. Stage separation confirmed. And so you get kind of a weightlessness there for, uh, or a lack of acceleration there for uh, a split second or two before the second stage Merlin vacuum engine starts and then you accelerate out into orbit. Separation confirmed. Once in orbit, astronauts will test several systems on Dragon, like the displays, control system, thrusters, and environmental control system. In about 19 hours, Dragon will be ready to dock at the International Space Station. The Dragon's computers can dock it at the space station automatically, and the astronauts can take over manually anytime. When you get to space station, it's kind of a defining moment when you get the hatches back open, just to see how many people from across the country have to pull together to, to pull something like this off. It's just, uh, it's inspiring to me, and, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. And those Falcon 9 reusable rockets, while Dragon is in orbit, those return to Earth, landing themselves on a drone ship. And the astronauts, they'll stay at the space station for anywhere from 6 to 16 weeks before returning to Earth. In Houston, Chris Costa, KHOU 11 News.